Howard the Flower Duck has arrived. Uh, welcome everyone. Welcome back to Modded Terraria. We gotta go down here real quick. <laughs> Howard the Duck. All right. Yes. <laughs> That's incredible. I love that. Hey, Howard, what's up? Yes, I do shoot lasers. He shoots lasers. That's incredible. All right. And you sell. Go away, you. He sells all this stuff. I do still plan on making a auto. Oh, you're shooting lasers. You are. Check this out, though. Get away. <laughs> Roar. Oh, my God. It's so big that things that are too close don't even get hit by it. That's insane. That's insane. With this thing and impractically oversized that's not impractical at all that is 100 percent practical the best and so are you buddy um howard everyone how and he's sitting down look at him sitting down at the table here have a little oops no i don't want christmas get out of here <laughs> i didn't know i could do that i forgot i could do that he's from the uh botanist npc by the way i just installed that uh, so, I've been looking through all these items, got rid of a bunch of them. Uh, this I'm gonna keep in here because I'm probably gonna use this against the wall of flesh along with this. So I think we're gonna try to do something interesting down there, but that's not for a while. So don't worry about that right now. These I'm gonna just dump right in here. We're not gonna use them yet. I actually need to go and get some arrows real quick. Uh... I don't know how many I want. Uh, anything else? Should I buy this? Let's get that. Ammo pouch. Good. And then I just want to buy regular, a bunch of arrows. I think I want to make some dragon arrows with them. Light your opponents ablaze. That was weird. So the bunny made, duplicated my everything. Duplicated my everything. We're just going to go like that. 250 dragon arrows. I'm going to put them up there. Even though I'm not using the rusted mechanism at the moment, it's okay. This, I want to make this thing. I think I remember the name of it. Uh, the <laughs> Staff of Staff of the Fallen. I was going to say Staff of Lost Souls. It uh, fires homing dark souls. Boom. Intense. Okay, I'm going to have to reforge that. And then this. I was looking at these. And I was like, oh yeah, the soul stone. I want to make a soul stone, but I don't have enough of these, first of all. And I don't have an alchemical infuser. So I'm going to keep these on me in this bag for now. And we're going to make, if we can, an alchem... Oops. Alchemical infuser. Which, we need wood. That's the main thing. We need a lot of wood. I don't have any wood. So, let me just pop this in here. We got that now. Uh, the best way that I can get wood quickly is by making one of these wooden tokens to get the Lumberjack NPC to move in so we can buy wood, which is incredible. For early game, you know, getting a bunch of wood, you need it. We need to do that. So, I need regular wood and I need palm wood. So let's go and do that. Um, first thing, let me might as well reforge this. Uh, where are you at? Where is he? Oh, he's sitting down right over here. We need to kick somebody out of here too, unfortunately, in order to get the lumberjack to move in because I don't have. I don't want that one. Furious, mm, deadly, sure. Where are we gonna put this? First of all, oh yeah, nice. And those home in, excellent. I like that. 24 magic damage. Um, I guess we'll put it right here. Boom. So, let's go get some wood. Palm wood, regular wood. Just so I can get it or make the wooden token. And then... Uh... Yes, get this one. Get the lumberjack. We gotta kick somebody out. <laughs> get the lumberjack NPC. And then, uh, profit. Buy a bunch of wood. I don't know how much it costs, I don't remember, but uh, we're going to be building over here anyway, soon enough. We're going to be building everywhere. Uh, get this tree. We're just going to get all of these. We don't need, like I am going to make a tree farm and everything because I want to make the auto potion lab. I'm going to need to, 
whatever. This one we're going to keep there. Mr. Tree. It's like, it does look like Bounds, Mr. Tree, except it's not in the desert. Wooden token can be placed. The sign of a true wood lover. All right, so boom. Now we need to, let's just, um, boom. Okay, now, uh, hurry up and move in. <laughs> what are you doing up here, buddy? All right, Jack the Lumberjack is here. Free wood. The trees need time to regrow. Come back later for more wood. I, you never gave me any free wood. The heck, man. So, the Lumberjacks. 150% axe power. Um, For now, Bogwood. <gasps> I could buy that. Ooh. Very nice. Bogwood. And then raise wood. Ancient wood. I could buy. Pearl wood I could buy right now. Yes, that means we could start building with pearl wood. Nice. I'm going to buy some of that. Starwood, might as well buy some of that as well. Okay. Shadewood, might as well buy some of that right now too. Bogwood, we'll buy some of this. All right. Bogwood. It boggles the mind. Okay. Anyway. Sweet. Oh, the bunny just... Did you see that bunny hop? Sweet. Oh, the bunny just... Did you see that bunny hop? You are special. Blop, 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 blop. And yeah, actually, I do need to make some living wood uh, wall and living leaf wall. So I'm going to... Let me just do this. And then, I don't know. Uh, I'm probably going to just zone out and build like a something of a tree over here. And then I want to just do this pixel art house. And then probably a boss fight. Oops. Just buy this greater wand. All right. And you can have the honey. Here, take that. All right. So I hollowed out a little bit more down here. And now it's time to build a tree a little bit or part of a tree. But first, I'm going to need all this. We have some money. I'm going to buy the paint blaster. I'm going to buy the paint mixer. We're going to buy... Uh, I suppose color cartridge. I think I need like a hundred brown paint. So now uh, I mixed, I made brown. Can I mix? No. Hmm. I forgot how to do this. <laughs> Woohoo. The Banana Man. Hello. Okay. So anyway, we uh, <laughs> finished that. I think I may mess with it a little bit more. I have like invisible platforms in the eyes and uh, a bench or like a stool over here and a little dynasty workbench over here. You can see them. So I might change the wall that I use back here and shadow paint that to make it a little darker because right now it's diamond gem spark and it's not as dark as the table and stuff, so you could see them very well. And then there's like a topaz candle right here from uh, Furniture, Food, and Fun. I have him in here, and he stays up there instead of going down here. He stays up there even when it you know becomes nighttime and stuff. Because down here, he continuously walks and opens the doors, and it's very like he, he'll just keep opening this one. Like over and over and over and over again. So, I tried blocking it with platforms and stuff, but they didn't look good. So, whatever. It's fine. Even on, like, the invisible platforms show up, like, really white on the map. So, yeah, I just didn't want to use platforms. So, I figured, keep them up there. Keep them out of trouble. It's all fine. We could still reach in there and talk to them. You know? Hey, buddy. Masks. Nice. Speaking of which, he has these berry masks and stuff. Hopefully, eventually, I could use stuff like that in uh, item frames. But also, yeah. Anyway, for now, I painted the the tree orange, like a shade. It looks regular orange. It's supposed to be uh, a shade of orange from Hamstar's Better Building. Or Better... Uh... Oh, hello. <laughs> What's up? How are you doing? Better... 
better paint, obviously, mod. Um, but it's just, I didn't put enough brown in, into it. I wanted it like a brown orange. I'll mess with that, make some more shades, and then uh, repaint it. For now, let me just go in here. I want to... We're going to do a little bit of a speed build here. Um, to finish off this area for now. But, let me uh, do that, I think. And let me paint this. Uh, brown. Yes, brown, brown, brown. There we go. Okay, I just wanted to put that on there. I don't know why. And I got this sometime while working on this. Uh, to make this Mystic Thorn Stave, but it's definitely, these things I think come from Plantera, because yeah, there's no way that I'll be able to make something that does 86 Druidic damage right now. Pretty sure this is a Plantera thing. I don't know, I guess this just has a chance to drop at any time. Exceptionally rare flower, so there's that. And then... Slimy house is down here and the goblin slayer moved in here So uh, yeah, I just put the slimy house down here. It's a very easy build if you don't remember my uh, Explanation of this build. It's basically There's a slime workbench here painted half white half gray and In the eyes we got these you can see that Dynasty candles in there and then of course the slime doors on the sides Anyway, it's fine as long as he doesn't close the doors and ruin the paint. Because if he closes the doors, then it's going to be just all green, I think. And then I'm going to have to repaint the shadow paint on the end. Whatever. Okay, so. Um, I don't believe that I can get this item yet. So I'm just going to mine this up. I, want, I just want to see what this looks like. I don't think I can get the swap pickaxe yet. From uh, Vipix Toolbox, which does block swap. Amazingly enough, I can't believe it. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Um. <laughs> probably want to. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Hmm. For some reason, I just want to put hay here because there's like a chicken coop. I don't know. I think it. It would. It's a nice touch. Whatever, we'll keep it like this for now, just like this. And now I gotta grab some materials, and I guess I'll wait until daytime again, most likely. Grab some materials, and I wanna build like a little speed build pixel art, probably in here. It's probably gonna be kinda big, but this area, like it's too big and wide open right now. Like I want a lot of little tiny houses like this. This is a small town after all, so we're gonna put a lot of like a tree in here and there's going to be a lot of like space taken up too. Anyway, let me get this stuff and then I will meet you guys back here after the speed build.
and we are finished so i'm gonna have to build like a pixel art mushroom or something some kind of plant down here squeeze it in right here and there's gonna be a lot of that around here I'm, I'm gonna be filling up the whole area with a lot of like you know pixel art plants and just things like this and then small houses all over the place i'll try to make it look nice and not entirely too cramped like i want it to be kind of very filled in but without it being overly cramped i'll see how i'm gonna do that like i have some ideas but anyway there we go there's our butterfly i wanted to build it down here i knew it was gonna be big uh just to kind of make you feel smaller like this is a butterfly that's how small we are down in small town you know something like that anyway i also figured out a couple things or yeah well one thing basically hello you uh this guy i mean i knew with this soul link that he could shoot but then i right clicked i didn't realize that they all have right clicks too i don't know when this was added but look at that he drops like lava sparks and then i was like wait so what is the what's the squirrels and the squirrels the regular is a dash and you can just chain it together to dash really quickly everywhere which is cool but then i was like what is your right click and check this out <laughs> he throws acorns all over the place it's incredible monkey joe all right anyway so um let's go i'm just gonna go up right here because we need to <laughs> do a little dashing right here it's awesome i love that so much okay so and i'm gonna switch back to this one for now because i may end up using it well probably not i don't know they don't really do much damage so put them in there and then i need to get one of these i think only one probably and then another reason why i made the butterfly was because we have to do this we have to make the yellow swallowtail butterfly summons eternity larva <laughs> swallowtail butterfly fairy from Gensokyo. and this is the butterfly i made so why not let's do that perfect we've got it i got a few little buff potions on me um but i guess let's head over to the coliseum right now all right and this has to be done during the day so it's perfect timing let's zoom out all the way for this one and i'm going to oh man are we ready i guess so let's buff and let's go eternity larva down there oh hey i need you to come over this way but it's fine if you want to go over there oh, okay i see uh, I need something that is going to do a little bit more damage. See, the thing is, the, uh, my, uh, potion is causing me to get hit because I'm like, yeah, Woo. I'm like, I can't really nah, see whatever where I am compared to like where the boss's bullets are but it's fine oh my god we got butterflies how about this yeah okay, i'm gonna go down here i'm gonna heal how do you like butterflies eternity i mean not butterflies bees not you're fine with them <laughs> okay so this one's tough let me just uh Let's focus. Let's use something that does homing damage or homes in. But yeah, this stupid aura around me is totally messing me up. It's fine. Uh, use this again. Don't need the map on. I love this, though. I just... Next time, I'm not using one of these. Ow. Alright. Let me actually just click on him. Him? Or her? Maybe it's a him? I don't remember. I don't remember which Toho game Eternity Larva is from. But... You know what? 
take that. So these bosses are going to get a lot more difficult. And yeah, another thing is how the... Uh, we need like a solid background. I definitely need a more solid background. Something less busy so that like I can see. But this thing, I should have canceled Inferno. Whatever. I didn't think about it while I was in the, the midst of battle. But we got this. It's fine. We didn't die. I mean, we kind of got in trouble briefly, but it's fine. Okay, so three, two, one, boom. Life crystal, butterfly pheromones, increases butterfly spawn rate, but normal spawning conditions still ap apply. Oh, I, so I, can, I can place that. We're going to place that. Uh, I can't teleport. Okay. I'm going to place that down in small town. And let me just zoom in a little bit again. Nice. <laughs> Because I do, I forgot to mention that too. I have a uh, butterfly thingy from. Well, we already have something down there that increases the spawn rates of butterflies, but we'll increase the spawn rate even more, maybe. I don't know if it stacks, if it works that way. But I got this thing from the bug catcher NPC from G Realm this butterfly post attracts butterflies during the day. Right there. So here. Um, so it just looks like, yeah, maybe instead of the bottle, we'll put this in there. <laughs> Take the bottle away and then put this right there. Actually, what about right here? Maybe not. Maybe I want to put that in the middle and then put a book next to that. And I need it to be that one. Thank you. Because that's the one I, I want in there. All right. Perfect. So lots of butterflies are going to be spawning down here. They already do. It's cool. I like it. And let's check you. You have anything new? Lunarian service rifle. The moon rabbits are given these rifles to, to, to defend against any invasion by impure earthlings. Right click to stab with the bayonet. Uh, okay. I'm going to check that out. Oh, what? Look at that. That's a big bayonet. Oh my god. <laughs> That's interesting. And it fires these out, too. That's cool. We don't have any bullets on us, but uh, I will uh, <laughs> check that out soon. Alright, before we get out of here, I have to say thank you to John. I'm just going to call you John C. Dot, uh, but I'll type in the whole thing. John C. Dot. And I think it's just like this. Alright. John C. Dot told me to add the botanist NPC for duck. <laughs> for duck. Duck. Uh, merchant. There we go. Duck merchant. Thank you. Howard the duck. Howard the flower duck. Down here in small town. Amazing. And there's going to be a lot more little houses. I want to build a tree over here. Lots of nature and stuff down there. Am I dying? No. We got this little guy helping us out from something. I don't know what you came from. Maybe this? Anyway. All right. Thank you all very much for watching. You get out of here. I'll see you next time. You get out of here, guys. Get. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Thank you. Peace.